Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, we will be comparing ClickUp versus Asana. ClickUp and Asana are two of the biggest project management tools that are out there on the entire market right now. And in this video, we will be taking a look at which of these tools is best for you. We will start out with the pricing of both of these platforms and then move on to the features and the differences between these two platforms. Now, starting out with the pricing, this is the pricing for ClickUp. So we have a free forever plan, which gives you completely free access. It allows us to have 100 megabytes of storage, unlimited tasks, unlimited free plan members, which means you can add team members and other collaborators onto ClickUp all within this free plan. We can also access the docs and whiteboards, which are some extra features of ClickUp we will get into later. And overall, this is a very solid free plan for solopreneurs or people who just want to start out and you can try out ClickUp for completely free. If you do want to access this plan, I will leave a link in the description to ClickUp. Click on that link, and then you will be able to sign up for the free plan right here. We then have the unlimited plan for $7. They claim this is the best for small teams. And within this, we get unlimited storage as opposed to 100 megabytes, unlimited integrations, unlimited dashboards. You can track your email within ClickUp and a few other things. And then the biggest plan right here, the business plan, this is best for mid-sized teams. And you can see all of the features that we get for this $12 plan right here. Now, this is the pricing for Asana. Once again, we have a free personal plan and you can see all of the features that we get. So we can access three different project views, the list, the board and the calendar. We can track projects, we can create tasks. And basically with these free plans, they are both fantastic. If you want to try out either of these software, I recommend going with the free plan first. And then if you do like it, then you can upgrade to one of the more premium plans. With that said, Asana is going to be more expensive. As we can see right here, the starter plan is $10.99 as opposed to $7 on ClickUp. And then the advanced plan is a lot more expensive, basically double the price, slightly more than double the price of what we have here on ClickUp. So with pricing out of the way and with ClickUp being the cheaper option, which of these is actually better? Now, I can't give you this answer outright. Is Asana better than ClickUp? It really comes down to personal preference and what you are looking for in a project manager. Now, as soon as you load into both of these software, we are taken over to the dashboard right here. And whether you are the business owner, the person who owns the account, or whether you have team members, everybody's dashboard is going to look relatively the same. So on Asana right here, we have any tasks that you have. So we have upcoming tasks that you need to complete, any tasks that are overdue, and then we have completed right here. Then we have projects that shows all of the projects and boards that you are involved in, tasks that you've been assigned, once again, upcoming, overdue and complete. Then we have goals, so team goals and your personal goals. And then right here we have people, so you can see all of the people that are part of the team. And then we can flick between a few different options to filter them right here. We can also customize this board on Asana by going down, drop and add new widgets. We can click in and then we can add from these widgets right here. So there's only a few to choose from, but we can choose status updates, private notepad, so we can add this, for example, and we can say something like, I need to focus on overdue tasks today. And we can have a private notepad right there, or we can add any of these other options. Now, click up on the other hand, you will notice that the dashboard looks relatively similar. We have recent, so we can see all of the recent tasks and basically anything that has been assigned to you. We have an agenda that shows up in the form of a calendar. So you can integrate a calendar right here and then you can literally see like a calendar view of all of the tasks that you have. So this is an awesome feature on ClickUp that you don't get on Asana. Then we have my work. So any tasks that have been assigned to you, any assigned comments. So any comments on ClickUp that you have been mentioned in. And then if you do want to add more cards and more things right here, we can choose between any of these and we can add them in. But what I would say overall is the main difference between Asana and ClickUp is with ClickUp, you can do a lot more. So not only do you get the standard project management tool, which we will get into later, I will show you how they work and how they look with both of these. But on ClickUp, you get a lot more things. 
So for example, you get docs right here where we can go in and we can start creating a document. So this is similar to Microsoft Word or Google Docs where we can go in, we can add a blank page and we can basically create documents within ClickUp. We can hit this slash key for commands and we can create all of these different things. So if we want to add a heading right here, we can add a heading and start typing things out. We can add in a table right here. And this is the document area. You don't get anything like this on Asana. We also get clips with inside of ClickUp. If you have ever used Loom, then this is the closest thing that I would compare clips to. Essentially what you can do is start a screen recording, have your face or voice over it, and then you can send these out to clients. So what we can do is create clip. Then as you can see, we can set everything up. Uh, for some reason, my microphone isn't syncing. It might be because I am recording, but you would select the microphone right there, select what you want to record, and then we can start recording. Just like that, it's now going to start recording my screen. We can see this is now recording. And what you can use this to do is maybe you want to record a video going over some SOPs, or maybe you want to record something for clients that you want to do using your screen. Then we would just record the screen right here. And then all we have to do is go in and stop recording. Just like that, the clip is going to process. It's then going to load us in right here and show us the clip. And then what we can do is copy the link and share this to a client or a team member who you are recording the SOP or instructions for. And then as soon as they have that link, I'm just going to open this up in, in Safari. This is essentially what the client or the person you sent this to will see. So they will get the screen recording right here. And this is another very handy aspect of ClickUp that you don't get inside of Asana. What we can also do inside of ClickUp is if we click more, we can go to whiteboards right here then new whiteboard. Let's just create a name for this. And essentially this is like a drawing tool where you can create like mind maps. We can add different things in right here. So we can create a mind map, just use this as a template. We can add new things in, add in different shapes. And you can basically create a mind map inside of ClickUp. This is another thing that you don't get inside of Asana. So overall, if you want my honest opinion on this, then I would say already because ClickUp is cheaper, you get more options inside of it, then ClickUp is always going to be my first choice. However, let's now take a look at the main tool, the project management tool on both of these software. So let's do this on ClickUp first. We just go to spaces, add a new space, and let's call this YouTube videos. We can then click on continue and create this space. This is the space that we just created. And as you can see, we are going to start off with a to do. Now, if we flick over to board, which is a different way of viewing this, we have to do in progress and complete. So let's stick with these statuses for now. So what I'm going to do is go into to do and let's create a task for this specific video. So what I'm going to do is create a task name and let's call this ClickUp versus Asana video. I can hit enter. Just like that, we now have this task created. If I go over to board, you will see ClickUp versus Asana is now in the to-do area. Let's go back over to list and then click into this specific video. So we click in and this is what it's going to look like. So in here, we can add dates. We can change the status. If we want to move this into in progress or complete, we can add assignees. We can add a priority. However, I think this is better to do from this menu right here. I'll show you how to do all of this. However, the main thing that we are going to be looking at is the subtasks right here. So within this specific video, we can now create subtasks to tell us or our team members exactly what needs to get done to complete this task. So let's create a new task and say create. And for this first one, I'm going to say create video script just like this. Then we can say record video, edit video, and upload video. So now you can see if I just back out of this, me and all of our team members can now see exactly what is to do. Then we can click into this and see all of the tasks that we need to do specifically in order to complete this main task. So if we back out of this area along here, we can now add assignees. So we would click on assignee. And then you can see all of my team members that I have added right here. So this is everybody that is involved in my team. So let's assign this to Jamie. We can now see that Jamie is going to be assigned to this task. 
his icon is going to show up and on Jamie's account, it is now going to show that he is assigned to this task. We can assign multiple people. For example, if I also want to assign Sarah to this, we can now see that they are both going to be assigned. If I want to stop assigning this task to somebody, I just click, click on this little X icon and they are now unassigned. We can also add a due date for this specific task. So let's say this is going to be due next Friday. We can add this in. We can see this is now due for next Friday. We can also add priorities, whether this is a low priority, urgent, high or normal. Let's set this to urgent. And then what we can also do is we can add different columns along here. So we click on this plus icon to add a column and then we can add all of these different columns. So let's say that we want to add some files in here. We can add a file. Let's just call this files create. And as you can see, this file fields has now been created. So we can click in and then we can drop files in that are going to help our team with these tasks. So I would take some time and just look through these and see if any of these are going to be valuable. And then what you also may notice on your ClickUp account is this status bar might not be there. If it isn't, just go to add a column. Then in the search bar, search for status and make sure this is checked on. And so from here, what our team members can do is click in. And then as they complete these subtasks, they can move these into complete. And then if we now go ahead and look back over at the board, we can see that this task is still in to do. So we need to wait until this is fully complete. So complete this and complete this. And these subtasks are going to be removed as we go. And then as you can see, all of these subtasks are now complete. So our team members can now come in and change the status to complete. And look at this on the board. This is automatically going to be moved over. If we want to move these tasks into in progress and complete, we can do it right here. The easiest way to do this is just to go into status and change it right here. So that is ClickUp. Now let's take a look at Asana. In here, we are going to go to projects, create a new project, and let's go for a blank project. Then we can do the exact same thing and call this YouTube videos, create project. And you will see that the layout is going to be very similar here, although slightly different in the fact that we have these box lines, which we don't really have on ClickUp. But let's go in and create a new task. Let's create the same video, ClickUp versus Asana. And as you can see, that is now going to be created. So let's click into this and view into the details. And in here, you will notice the same thing. We can add a subtask. So let's go in and create the same subtasks. And these subtasks are now going to be created. Once again, we can back out of this. We can set assignees. So I don't have any team members set up, but just like we saw on ClickUp, they would show up right here. I'll just assign myself for now. We can create a due date and we can also go in and add new fields. Now you will notice that on Asana, we have a lot less fields to choose from. What we can do, however, is go choose from library and then create new and we can create our own field. So we can create a field name right here. Choose what this is. So single select date, people, all of this. Enter in an option name and then we can create the field right here. Once again, we can move to board and let's just call this in progress and complete. And then once again, as this gets completed, as our team members go in and complete these subtasks right here, we can then go to the board and drag this along to show what is currently to do, what is in progress and what is complete. You just need to change this to to do just like that. On Asana, we do have a few more board views, like we have a Gantt chart, we have a dashboard right here, we have a calendar that is going to be very helpful. But overall, I would say most of these boards, apart from the calendar, are redundant. I don't think I've ever used the Gantt chart, for example. It's just not something that I use. And overall, between these two software, I would absolutely go for ClickUp, no questions asked because of the amount of features that they have, as well as it's overall just an easier to use, nicer user interface software. So that is my comparison of ClickUp versus Asana. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.